I started DJing when I was 16 with Philip Salon had this club. It was only a small club. He was the internet of his day. He'd be on the phone all night and everybody would ring in to him and tell him if they knew of any parties going on or anything like that. He had all the information so everybody in this scene would have to contact him and he'd go, the party's there, the foot phone there. You know, so anyway, so then he realised that if he started his own club that he could actually make some money out of it. Because <laughs> it was a kind of full-time job for him to yeah. keep everyone in the picture. He said, George, you can be the DJ and you can do the coat check. I couldn't get it together and the coats were all on the floor. People were screaming at me. It was like, ah, uh, you know. And George said, oh, I'll do the coat check. They swapped us around. So the next week, George did the coat check and I did the DJ. And George had rifled through all the coats. His idea was to nick all the money off <laughs> from people's coats. They were still up in arms, but they got their coats back quicker, so, but without any money in them, if they'd left any money in them. That was how it started, and I was the DJ. I remember having Gary Glitter and having two copies of Rock and Roll on seven inches. Because it was like, all those records were like three minutes long, and they were like too short, and you'd be like trying to make them longer, you know. This is before scratching. This is like literally like 19... 79 or something or we didn't know about scratching certainly didn't have turntables or anything like that you know so that's how it started um for me that was my first gig and i got 20 quid <laughs>